and welcome back to Petrania Plates. If you're new here, my name is Petrania. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, today I want to talk a little bit about budgeting for traveling. Um, it's so important to save money and budget for your trip so you don't have to worry and you can really enjoy your trip. So here are seven tips for budgeting for travel that I hope will help you as well. So let's get right to it. To research your trip. So this means how much you think it's going to cost to fly there. Do you have to take in airfare? Are you going to be driving? Gas money? Where are you going to be staying? Are you going to be staying at a cheaper place or a more expensive place? So put all that together on a spreadsheet, kind of come up with a number that you think it's going to cost you for the duration of your trip. And once you have that number in place, it makes it a lot easier to plan and to budget for it. All right, that gets us to tip number two, and that is to create a travel budget. So you have this big number in mind, right? So if it's like, it's gonna take you $2,000 to take this dream trip of yours. So you may wanna put away $50 a week or maybe $100 a month. So whatever that number is, start putting it away and budgeting for it, like you're budgeting for groceries, for example. So number three, where do you put that money? One advice that I give people is to start a bank account just for your travels. At the beginning of every month or the 15th of every month, put that amount of money into your account. So you know it goes automatically there, do an automatic deduction from your checking account into your travel account. That money going straight to your account without you touching it. So that's a great way to save, by the way, if you're just saving money just on a regular basis, money from your checking straight into your savings, but now we're just putting money straight into your travel account so you have that money ready to go when you're ready to take your trip. Tip number four now is to track your spending. All right, so this is about budgeting your money overall so that you have enough money to go on your trip. So one of the best ways to start saving is to start knowing exactly where your money goes every month. So this is what I've started to do in recent months just to kind of keep my, my spending on track is to write down everything I spend each month everything you know even if it's just for a cup of coffee or a candy bar write it down and then you get to see how much you're spending on things that maybe you don't really need for tip number five if you're just been saving which is great but maybe you want to be making a little bit of money as well and one way to do that is to sell your stuff so start looking around your house maybe you have some clothes that you don't wear anymore and you might be able to sell on sites like Poshmark for example on Facebook Facebook, the marketplace site is great. I actually sold some stuff there recently. Maybe hold a garage sale or something like that. So, you know, it's a great way to minimize and simplify your house and also making some extra money for your trip as well. Getting on to tip number six, another way to make money, of course, is to get a side hustle or an extra job on the side from your full-time job. Probably you can do on the weekends or after work, babysitting or pet sitting or house sitting, something like that. Um, just put something up that you don't have to do forever, maybe just for a few months just to make up money before your trip. Or maybe this can turn into something long-term, but you know this will help get you some extra money, whatever you can do, um, maybe in a short term for your trip. All right, and number seven, this is, I call it rethinking entertainment or rethinking your hobby. So what are you doing right now for fun? You might want to either cut back or find different things to do to kind of spend your time without spending a lot of money. Uh, go to movies every weekend, you may want to uh, replace that with you know getting a night together with friends and watch the movie on Netflix instead and then you can cut money on, on not going to the movies you can um, also eat in instead of going out with your friends for dinner if you usually go out and buy books and CDs and stuff like that get it for the library for a little while so little things like that things that you can do still have fun with your life but you can save at the same time for that dream destination so those are my seven tips. I hope that they help you. I know it's not easy for everyone. You gotta save up for it, but there are just simple ways that we can do it, and I hope this video helps you. All right, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also um, to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time.